Hey, 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 this is the Antisocial Socialite back at it again. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel or you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell. So when I get to run in my mouth in this BITCH, yes, sir, you are in the loop. Uh, <laughs> shout out to the new subscribers and all the faithful listeners. Uh, <laughs> this um, video is going to be entitled The Scapegoat of Colorism, okay? I was just listening to uh, Mr. Fantastic's stream yesterday. There was only so much I could take because it was getting really ridiculous. And Rashida Strober, somebody who, you know, I don't really watch a lot of female YouTubers because, you know, if I want to know what a man thinks, I might as well just go and ask a, a brother instead of listening to women tell me their side of the story. And all you can hear with Rashida is, Oh, you know, I had this bad experience. I had this bad experience. This guy didn't like me. People said I was too dark. Da 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 da. And it's like, <sighs> then she starts talking to a young brother. I can't remember who it was. I think it was, um, damn. I can't even remember who it was. And he's saying, I'm a young guy. I'm in college, you know, and I already see how things are going. What a lot of black women don't seem to understand is is that guys are not blind you know the barbershop was a place where men could always go and talk and and you know chop up ideas and you know talk about their personal experiences and <laughs> wherever men congregate and have their male spaces whether it's going down the pub or being at a bar or going to the barbershop men will come together and talk and share their experiences and they will get game some of them have older brothers some of them have um you know fathers and uncles and they teach you how life really goes um <laughs> black women trying to flag down men's channels for exposing the things that black women do it's not going to change anything it only just highlights the how true what these brothers are are really saying happens to be because you know, these young women are talking about, oh, you know, you're watching YouTube, da 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 I'll be honest with you, I haven't really heard in, in real life men talking about these things. The ideas are spreading because of social media, but the sentiment has been there for a long time that you deal with whoever deals with you. And what these women just don't seem to understand is you are in a multicultural society the world is getting smaller simply because of the internet social media the mainstream media has made it possible for people to see a whole other side of the world that they didn't know existed and when they're comparing and contrasting what they're experiencing in real life they think to themselves why should i tolerate this just because you know we're both the same color when i can just go somewhere else where i'm appreciated like everybody wants an easy life and what dark-skinned black women who call themselves colorism activists and things like that they never want to address is the fact that dark skin is associated with a lot of rubbish okay as i said before it's by design yes they are going to always paint darker skinned black women in a less favorable light but we are the ones who also co-sign that rubbish and and live out those stereotypes i told you i watched paul blart mall cop and i was stunned <laughs> i was stunned because and uh, you know if i could record like all of the, the the sneak disses that are going on in the mainstream media, I would, but I just don't have the technology for that. It's, oh, come on, come on, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the man wants me to cross the road, <laughs> and I'm trying to give him the way. He's like, let me give you the way. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. And <laughs> um, what was I saying now? See. <laughs> uh, if I could record all of the incidences, like. How many times do you see like a black woman in a commercial and she's overweight? How many times do you see a black woman on, in a commercial? Because, you know, you can just see it's like pervasive. It's all the damn time. Drop here, drop there of negativity against the dark skinned black woman. 
it's like she's either obese this is like she looks like a single mom you know she's not particularly attractive it's like they always want to put these these darker skin overweight uh, masculine energy aggressive women you know out there to make people feel some type of way about black women and we go in like fall into those stereotypes and you know there's some truth to it that's the thing about a stereotype there's always some truth right so with this whole Paul Block business, you know, again, this, this strong woman, she's built like a freaking house. She gets a punch in the face or something and she's not even phased. She doesn't blink. She doesn't move. She just kind of throws the chick into the wall and it's like, yeah, that's what I do on a daily. I take hits and I throw chicks around, you know, and it's like, this is not, this is not cool. But what really hurt me was when Rashida was saying to this young guy, you know, it's like basically my goal is to help you to understand as a black boy you should be with a black girl. And I was like, first and foremost, you are not, you are not dating within the race. So why are you expecting and, and kind of restricting other people to that? The next thing is, if you've had bad experiences and that's caused you to make the decisions you've made, why is it so hard for you to understand that, you know, brothers have the same, the same reasoning, that they want to date somebody who's going to show them some base level of respect, you know? The next thing is, like I said, it's, it's a set of actions and behaviours that black men are tired with that they find more commonly with the darker skinned woman. It's not the physical appearance of the woman that is off-putting to the men. It's the actual behaviours. It's the behaviours. And these women just refuse to accept that it's not about the skin tone per se because most black men are with actually black women, even a lot of the celebrities, okay? It's not about the color, it's about the fact that darker skin is synonymous with bad attitude, kids, you know, disrespect, and just a whole host of different things. And 